Good morning. Just thought I'd do a bit of a quick clip. Going to be busy this afternoon with a bit of a Father's Day catch up with the family. So, thought I'd start here. One and a half to two kilo kohlrabi. It's going to be turned into coleslaw. So, let this one get a little bit too big. I was going to let him go to seed, but yeah. Father's Day coleslaw is much greater cause than I do have seed left. Uh, these two guys here, two 500 litre rainwater tanks, picked them up at a garage sale for $25 each yesterday. I was going to buy uh, another one of these barrels to get another two wicking barrels and came across these two guys. So, don't quite know what to do with them yet. we got three options that I can think of. Um, incorporate one or both into the aquaponic setup. Turn one of them into a bit of a large manure worm composting bin. So basically throw my ten lovely new bags plus the others I've got hidden around the place of horse manure in one. And empty a tray of worms from the worm farm in there and just let them go to town. Um, not too keen on that idea. Well, some of us aren't too keen on that idea. Uh, another option is... The third option is to turn them into wicking beds. So we're thinking about letting... This little one here, have one as a wicking garden, a herb and flower garden. No? No? What would you like to do with it? If you were given one of those, what would you plant in there? Carrots and beans. Carrots and beans? Anything else? I know, i got seeds up there. I don't know. I might plant some of them. Some of your seeds? Yep. So if Kira gets one, that's what will happen. Um, if I get one, it will be turned into a herb bed. I've got some cumin and coriander I wouldn't mind planting out. Plant a small beetroot out in this bed, just along the front. Bit of a quick crop. Sunflowers are starting to pop, so that's cool. This bay has decided to kick off. Very happy with that. That's the one that I thought I'd killed on Bianca. The raspberry barrel's just gone crazy, considering there was only one cane in there last year. So when we bought it, so it's had a lot of feed. Rosemary's always beautiful. These broccoli are slowly bouncing back after being, yes, guilty chirps. Um, after being attacked by a chook. The broccoli seeds are starting to die off. So, you get some broccoli seeds from this one. And I'm interested in getting some seeds from this one too. It's a different variety that came in the same punnet. So, hopefully, we'll see if we get a some sort of mutated hybrid or our own version of broccoli for next year just to try out. We've got this little broccoli has decided to head up. Carrots, we've had a couple of carrots sprout. Um, um, the Russian kale, that's pretty much all the chook fodder plant for us. We have gotten desperate and used it in a couple of stir fries when we had no other leafy greens, but as you can see, heaps of leafy greens at the moment. The Romanescu uh, broccoli, and it's starting to do crazy funky things with its leaves inside there. Um, oh, Kira, I don't think I've ever included this. This is our little volunteer rainbow chard. So this is Kira's little baby. We've, we've got a bit of twine around it and we're looking after it and it's just growing through a crack in the pavers. So... I found it yeah. one, after, one afternoon when, I, when we were going through the garden. Yep, just as a little seedling. You were hoping it was rhubarb, weren't you? Because it was red. Um, these guys here, the spring onions, they're going crazy. There's a red variety, I think it's called, um, not Tonga, Toga? I'm not too sure. A red variety in there and a white variety. There's the red variety there. They're actually transplanted out of the garlic bed over there. Uh, when we had garlic, uh, the spring onions around, as a border of around some carrots from our last carrot crop, so... Or second last carrot crop so I transplanted them there because I didn't want to toss them and yeah as you can see we've been cutting them off at the base and munching on them some will be picked for the coleslaw in a little while we've got leeks and garlic in there as well so that's our alum bed this bed here is going to be dug out um, going to harvest the little heads of broccoli we eat the flowers as a munch even something like that, I would chop and throw in a stir-fry, I have no problem with that. 
Um, beautiful bee. Hello, beautiful bee. Um, another beautiful bee. We haven't got the native bees around this time. Last year we had heaps of native bees. Um, yeah, so these guys will come out, stop the nattering. Um, we'll chop up the stems and use them in stir fries this week and as many of the heads. These onions, I'm going to attempt to transplant the onions because we want to just gut this whole bed, revitalize it, and I've got uh, Madagascar climbing beans I want to put up in here and some other bits and pieces as well. Just totally revamp the whole bed. It's never been done as a whole since it was made. Um, these blueberries. Hello, gecko. These blueberries fruiting very very well but no leaves am i doing something wrong heaps of fruit no leaves so been watering it trying to keep the um trying to keep the water up to it without drenching it it's in a wicking barrel so it's fairly moist so oh one yeah. fell off that looks like it's so bad. pulled out the beans um should really throw them they've got a bit of rust on them so they just really didn't do that great. Um, these tomatoes. Oh, can you pick up those two that dropped? We've got them ripening up. I'm going to trim off some of the dead bits and pieces. Planted a couple of kents in here you saw on the other clip. So, what else? Gooseberry's got a haircut. The leeks we transplanted in here are kicking along really well. Starting to get some beans come on here and also some rust so we're gonna have to spray these guys some beans i'll be ready by the end of the week flowers oh maybe sooner yep heaps of flowers and heaps of baby beans all the way through there so these guys are going to get compost uh composted mulch this afternoon and a worm cast tea yeah put them up on the table up there there's some others to ripen up these mangles are going to have to come out and we're going to dig through this bed again and we're going to grow mangles differently. We grew mangles the size of root. And very impressive, like that one's got to be about 3 kgs, easy. 2 to 3 kilos. So we're going to use them, um, a whole heap will be diced up and thrown in bags for stews and casseroles and that sort of thing. These onions and kohlrabi, lonely kohlrabi will be left here. So, and we'll just dig through some more stuff and we will plant some more mangles out with intention just to use them as a salad green and the small tubers won't be needed for stews or casseroles because we have so many. Um, coriander. And uh, getting heaps of little seeds on the coriander. Um, primarily grew this to try and grow our own spices. I've also got some cumin seeds that I'm trying to germinate. 